Welcome to IBM Consulting. In this session, I'm going to show you the demo of this new application, Trust Component. This application is quite dynamic and also more flexible, and it, it will give you a lot of option to change within the component. Let's go to the demo. Just select the Trust Component and pick the first point and second point and double click and open this uh, trust component. Option to add vertical members at both the ends. If you don't need it, you select the empty space. So select and modify. To add vertical member, select this option and click modify. You can change the angle of this diagonal members This will automatically trim the member because I'm using this connection numbers 49. Um, 49 is nothing but uh, notch. You can also use other connections which I will explain to you shortly. So you see uh, the properties to change uh, the trust members. If you happen to use angle of course, uh, you may have to change the rotation and set the plane and depth. So you have an option to change most of the main properties. Now, if I go to the parameters, you can set the number of um, quantities you need. For example, I'll go and change this one to diagonal and modify this. So it shows 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you count, there are 12 diagonal members and you can increase the quantities if you want to and this changes the height at the start and at the end you can adjust the vertical member or uh, the first member for example i type 50 and modify this the same you can also adjust the end If you need a galvanization hole, select yes and modify this. So the cut uh, both the sides and uh, the top and bottom. Let me show you uh, different options. I'm going to choose square hollow section underscore top. This settings will create the combination of vertical member and diagonal members in one direction. Once you make the settings, it is just a matter of uh, two clicks and you get the truss component the way you want it. The next one is bottom. So that means it goes from the bottom to the top. Sometimes you may need uh, the first three members uh, different profiles and rest all of same profile. In that case, what you can do is let me select the web option here and modify this. So how I can achieve this result? Um, I'll change this one to 50 and uh, 50 here and modify this. Okay. If you take a look at this, the, the top chord and bottom chord is a square hollow section 50 and the rest of all the members are square hollow section 25. But uh, these three members are different profile, square hollow section 40. If I go to the parameters, for example, if you see the node numbers, this is the in, uh, node zero and this is one and this is two and this is three. and uh, what I did, I changed uh, the first three profiles inserting the node. So once I select, you can just double click on it. Um, you see the profile diagonal left is square hollow section 40 and diagonal right is the same profile. What exactly it means uh, for node one, this is left and this is right. For node two, this is left and this is right. So that's the reason if you see uh, the details here, for one, I have changed the first left and right and for the um, node two, 
um, I have changed to only the right side profile. Of course, you can also set a different uh, class and you can also change the rotation. Now, for example, I'll insert an another node to change the distance between these two members. And this is node number four. So I type four here and I'm going to change the distance only the profile on the right side. So I'll take this and just for an example, I'll type 100 here and select and insert and modify this. Can you see it changes the node number four profile on the right side. And the next option, um, I can take the distance here. Uh, you can also type the distances to create this uh, truss. To adjust the distance between the members, this is the common distance. But if you want to have uh, separate distances for any particular node, of course, you can insert the node and use these options. Okay, and the next option, um, I'm taking this angle connection here and modify this. So the angle connection, it comes with the connections because I'm using number 11 uh, for number 3 and 4. So 3 is diagonal members and number 4 is vertical member. Um, suppose if I just want to connect these two uh, members, in that case, I have to delete this connection number here and this one is number 11 and then I'll copy and add. This is angle 2. Select and modify this. Okay, let me just quickly check the attributes because I'm using number 11 here. Uh, it is supposed to be angle underscore connection 2. So what I would do is, let me just copy this one and I'll go and change this details and click modify. So now you can see. If you want to have a, a separate connection, of course, you can remove this and then type number 11 and type the attribute. You can also apply uh, the connection to the hollow sections. For example, I'll take this uh, web section 20. I'm using this number 22 gasset connection here. So there you can see. And if I just want to separate them, then I'll take this option. So I'm separating for number three and four. Okay. So the one more option which I just wanted to show you. If you happen to use this angle connection, obviously you may have to offset from the center. Here you can see. Let me just take um, component top view and uh, I'll change this distance to 20 and modify this. So there you can see it actually moves from the center. Uh, one last thing. So I have drawn a column here. I pick a first point and uh, the second point. Now, I want the top and bottom chord should be in line. In what I need to do is, if I go to this uh, parameters, fitting truss, fitting start by top chord, and the end, this is the end, it should also be fitting by top chord, and click modify this. Um, if you just wanted to have a tap pad uh, truss, change the height. So as I said, this component is uh, very dynamic and uh, very flexible. As you have seen, there are a lot of options to change within the component. Of course, uh, this application is available for sale. 
uh, feel free to get in touch with me if you have any question about this tool. I will be very happy to answer to you and thank you for watching this video.